Licky-ish. Hello friends and welcome to the channel. I'm Handington and today we're playing Cookie Run Oven Break, the long-awaited joining of Licorice Cookie. There he is. There's a boy. Grim Reaper of sorts. <laughs> Let's tap on his face and see what he does. Go away. I'm planning. Plans. <laughs> Rise, licorice servants. You don't stand a chance against my magic. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna switch back over uh, so that I get the bonus tomorrow for the whatchamacallit. So I get 12 rainbow cubes instead of the other amount, the 10, for a normal cookie that is not at maximum affection. We're gonna start off today with Licorice's new costume. Look at this. Licorice Cookie's aberrant conjurer. <laughs> I don't think I'm familiar with that word. On a night when the crescent moon is in the seventh house and Jupiter aligns with Mars. The crescent moon's silver on a night when the crescent moon's sliver of light shines upon the fog, the earth stirs. Licorice Cookie swings his scythe back and forth. He casts a curse upon the land in silence, and the licorice servants rise in droves. The licorice servants do his bidding as he watches from afar. They are his minions, just like Gru. He is Gru. And they are his, his his yellow minions. I'm happy to put that horrible thought in your minds. Ma ha ha. This is the secret. This is a secret. But. <laughs> this is a secret. But he can't really swing his scythe without some help. <laughs> Just the idea that he casts magic with a, se with a secret butt. <laughs> it's the source of his dark magic. <laughs> sorry, sorry. We're gonna do the. We're gonna do do a pull. <laughs> so we're gonna see if maybe we can get his costume. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. All right, special costume draw. What's this gonna be? What's it gonna be? I did that episode before showing where I did five pulls <laughs> to get the other one. All right, we have a full full pile of friends. Okay, little glimmer. There's no electricity, but that's okay. There they are. They're waving to us. She gives us the wand. We're ready for our Sonic Heroes um, jump. I don't remember what it was called. Fist bump. That was it. I almost called it Jumping Flash, but that's that's, an, that's a different PS2 game. We not PS2, PS1. That's that's an old PlayStation game. There we go. Look at that. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. All right, what are we gonna get? Pumpkin Head Rider. Pumpkin Head Rider. We got a future rock star playing on a broom. Ooh, purple. Oh, it's it's one that I have already. That's still pretty neat. One that I also have, the Neo Augment. Okay. Oh, and another purple. Oh, it's another one that I have. No. All right, well, we got two purples. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Because there's the event for the Rainbow Cubes, I think I'll do one more draw. I'm spending a lot on the Rainbow Cube costumes. Usually I like to have a bunch saved up as a stockpile, but I'll do an extra one just uh just just for the for the heck of it because this is a good time for it. All right. They run along. He he glimps. He jump. He scores. Oh, he's going to get a perfect 10. Lands on them. Do ba do ba do. Ba do ba do ba do. Ba do ba do ba do. Boop boop ba do boop on your foot. <laughs> there we go. And ooh, it's another pretty one. All right, we could get something good. A could, a could good, a good could. What'll it be? We'll have to see. I don't know. Hooray, hurry. Ah, Count Dracula. Oh, 
Oh, it's another purple. Hey, it's something new. Oh, it's popcorn cookie. <laughs> the movie night. This is a cute outfit. I like it. <laughs> Yay. All right. Look at that cute little narwhal cyclops with a little bow. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, I love it. Uh, I, I don't know if she's dressed up like a sheep, but she's just a general little monster or something. I, I like this design. It's, it's, it's a whole pile of different things. I like it. <laughs> oh, we have Ginger Claws. Ski Rookie. All right, last one. What's it going to be? Oh, it's Herbology. Well, this is a cool outfit, so I'm going to equip that on you, Popcorn. Ha. 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 We have 500 rainbow cubage. Mm. Let's see. Well, we're going to probably have to save up a lot of these rainbow cubes for the super mega hyper ultra exceptionally epic rare costumes. The Zephyr and the Trident Abyss. I'm probably going to have to save up for those. Yeah. Because the rest of these, we're just going to have to hope we can pull. At this point, it's the, th these are the only purple costumes left that are technically easier to get, even though they're not very easy to get. These, these are the only ones that left that I need. Oh my gosh, we didn't... We got another milk cookie instead of the purple yam one, but I need the purple yam one. And of course, here's all of the other rare costumes that I need. I really could have sworn I got cheesecakes at some point. I, I really could have sworn I had I had gotten cheesecakes, but I I guess I, I guess I mis misremembering, <laughs> misremembering. There are so many of these super rare costumes. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. There's so many of them. And these, there's almost, almost, there's almost no chance of getting those. Uh, these costumes are... Wait, that one's not new. The Summer Parade? I'm pretty sure that one's been around for a while. Uh, and then the Grapefruit Cookie one, I think that one was relatively new. Oh, same with the Ninja. I believe that one was also rather old. I guess maybe just because these are the ones in the costume gotcha that they're featured. Uh, and there's Dark Enchantresses. Hmm... You know, I like Licorice's costume, but I kind of prefer his normal look, honestly. So I think even if I got it, I would just use the ability and just keep him the way he looks. So I've spent enough time dawdling and lollygagging, as I do, because this is, of course, Handington, so I have to lollygag. We're going to hit... <coughs> Ooh, my voice failed me. We're going to head over to the Cookie Trials and looking at Ginger Brave's trial. Look at that. It's the Sugar Gnomes. Yay! This is the April Fool's Day event. We earned coinage. What should we do next year? Yay! Oh, I'm looking forward to whatever they do. 10,000 coins. Yay! Received a reward. And now it's just the normal Ginger Brave trial. Yay! Also, I forgot banana. I was saving it to do an episode because somebody requested it, and I forgot to get the last mission, and it expired a lot faster than I expected because I've been very busy with schoolwork and stuff. Look at this mission. Collect 666 yellow bear jellies. It's the mark of the beast. Look, we all thought the beast was... Uh, blink and you'll miss it. We all thought the beast was the devil cookie, but no, it's actually the face of the little monkey and banana. <laughs> Curious George cookie. No. <laughs> So, we will have to do that at some point. I might wait to do that on screen, just because it had been requested as well. Still can't do Dark Enchantresses yet. I haven't gone through the other story mode missions. Um, I'm probably going to try and do that off screen at some point. I, I, I might see about even live streaming quietly, uh, depending on the timing. Might try and grind a little bit more in these modes and do something like that. I'll, I'll, I might try and be in the chat. Uh, silently. So if any of you are interested in that, please let me know uh, instead of me just doing it off screen. So we're going to head over to the trial. Licorice Cookies Trial. Licorice Cookie Incorporated. <laughs> Dark Enchantress Cookie will prevail. <laughs> 
oh, what if I, <laughs> you know, because his backstory is that, like, he's he was a great wizard, but he never got recognition, so he turned over to the dark side, and is kind of competent, but also kind of, like, disliked amongst the other group, which kind of reminds me of Doofenshmirtz, <laughs> where, like, the other bad guys don't really like him very much. <laughs> But he's like really competent at his at his at um at being like scientific, but he ends up being his own worst enemy, which I kind of feel is part of his trait. I again I, I haven't ca caught up with the Cookie Run Kingdom story much because I'm I'm waiting to play more of that, um, so I only know a little bit of it through hearsay. But actually, him being Doofenshmirtz Cookie would be pretty funny. <laughs> I I would I would definitely like that. <laughs> Let me give him a boost because I use I've got the uh, the treasure chest for him off screen. <laughs> Summon the licorice servants. His licorice servants are like the norm bots <laughs> from Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> oh, that would be great. And then here's Cat Bat, who is so cute. Look at Cat Bat, <laughs> a bat cat. Excuse me. <laughs> My girlfriend would love this. Look. Uh... <laughs> So cute. Echo location. Yay. Alright, let's see. What stuff can we equip? What's some good some goody goods? Gonna switch this out. Gonna switch that out. Gonna get the thing. Where's the treasure map? Everyone has to use the treasure map. Because the treasure map is really important. Maybe Red Egg Redemption, wherever you are, there you are. Great. Now the ability is pretty cool because I saw the video on the Dev Sisters channel, so we're gonna we're gonna give this a shot. <laughs> ah, Perry the Platypus, I know a couple of tricks too. <laughs> there we go. I should give him Doofenshmirtz's voice. <laughs> Look at the little skull jellies. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, yeah, he's a potion brewer. Look at all the potions. I still haven't changed the fish yet. I bought the fish. I didn't want to change the fish, but they look too similar to the frozen bear jellies. They, they mess me up a little. Look at the little skulls and voodoo dolls. Oh, it's so cool. Look at this trial. Ah! It's so cool. There's an artist um, on Twitter who I followed for a while. Um, Cherry Glaze, that's the at symbol, uh, also goes by Fia. And I liked her artwork and stuff. Draws a lot of, like, uh, dark, spooky, cute things. Um, and all of a sudden, it's one of the few times where somebody who I was following ended up getting into the Cookie Run fandom. <laughs> so I, after that point, I was just like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And she, she really likes licorice cookie. Uh, so I'm, I, on my timeline, I just see a whole pile of licorice cookie things. Because I made the secondary uh, Handington Twitter because I was just like, eh, I'm, I'm done with this this original Twitter. Again, there was nothing wrong with it. it. There was no problems or anything. But it was just like, you know what? I think th there's some personal stuff on here. And you never know what's going to happen or what's going to be taken out of context in the future. And, like, so somebody had even, like, suddenly popped out of nowhere and was just... I, there was some comment that I had made on a thing where it was just like, Oh, hey, this is good, but it turned out that somebody was not as good eventually, but that nobody know, knew about. So they were like, well, this aged well, or something like that. And I was like, okay, well, as it, as it turns out, <laughs> that's that's kind of annoying. As among a couple of other reasons. I was also just kind of feeling like, eh, I want a fresh start and I want something a bit more professional. So I made the new um, Handington Twitter, at Handington Hand, Handington underscore Hand, excuse me. Whoop, bumped into the thingy and died. Um, and however the algorithm of Twitter works... Oh, look, it's it's the, it's the spooky, spooky month, friends. It's Pump and, uh, and Skid from Sir Palo's video. Yay! And we died, but right after getting the bag, which is good. I wanted the rainbow bag. So, we're gonna see. What are we gonna get? 
Ooh, a bent golden key. That's actually uh, that's actually pretty good, honestly. Um, but yeah, so for whatever reason, maybe because like I had initially liked something on there, I like the whole timeline is set just anchored around her artwork. <laughs> However, the algorithm is so like my other one, which is now private, so it's just for my friends. It has the whole general amount of things that I have on there that I I, I generally tend to to view and stuff. Where it's just like, oh yeah, this this is the general stuff that I tend to see, um, the usual the usual mix of stuff. And then on the other one, on my end, it's just like any time anything that she posts. <laughs> It's just all, my, my entire timeline is basically everything that she posts. And I followed, like, all of the same stuff. I don't know why it does that. It's so weird. It's just, like, I have other artist friends. My other account give, lets me see my other artist friends and their stuff. Why is it just this person on the official account? So it's it's very weird. I don't know why it does that. So on my feed is just a pile of licorice cookie. <laughs> but I'm okay with it, because I still think it's pretty cool. <laughs> ah, Patty the Platypus, Dark Enchantress cookie will prevail. <laughs> and away we go. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> We're going to try and get the magic candy, and then I'm going to... Uh, Oh, that one of those could look kind of like an unknown symbol, you know, from Pokemon the Unknown. I need to play more Pokemon on this channel. I have Waiting in the Wings, an old Nuzlocke that I had edited, that I have just in case something happens, where it's just like, oh, I need a pile of episodes and I won't be able to do a thing. Here's my emergency series. So I have that as my emergency series, just in case. Um, so I'm waiting on that. Oh, also, my apologies for showing you the ad before. I just kind of clicked it without even thinking, because I was I was just busy talking. Nine, 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 nine. I don't wish to buy any of that nine. Oh, look at all of that gunk flying down. Ooh, I wonder what they could be selling. But I have the thing turned off. Ooh, gonna wipe away all that nine. Release trapped residues and odors. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> It looks like we've released the residue that was the ad. <laughs> oh no. Alright, if I click the X, oh, I won't get a reward, wanna skip? No. Let's see. Gave me the X button. You're gonna, you're gonna do this to me, huh? Yeah, I'll skip. I hate this so much. The, the only thing that I hate more is when, oh my gosh, it actually gave us the ad. Well, I was not expecting that, because the other thing that I really hate is when it makes you watch the whole ad, but then it doesn't give you the reward. It just is like, nope, <laughs> and it's so frustrating, <laughs> where it's just like, I sat through the whole dang thing. Give me the prize. He sure does love saying how Dark Enchantress will prevail. Is this the second or third time you said that? I don't know. I don't remember. Here we go. There's a little heart. It, that looks like a Pokeball. That looks like the unknown. Or no, there was some other one that I think I saw, but that, that one looks even more like an unknown. This bat, the, the, yeah, cat bat, bat cat, bat a cat. Yeah, bobcat. <laughs> the, the pet, the cute pet. Giving us, giving us unknown for Pokemon. I did a stream on Twitch where I was figured out how to do a, a, a randomizer. Um for Pokemon Soul Silver, but unfortunately when I recorded it the audio was so bad mixed with the audio of the uh the game itself that it's just like it's almost unwatchable. I tried to mess with the audio, like I took a copy of it, then edited the audio to try and make it so that you could kinda of hear my voice better. If I ever re-upload it, I might have to make a compilation or something where it's just like, oh, here's the video, but I'm just going to repeat the stuff that I had said in the moment, but clearly, so you can hear it better, and then I'll, maybe I'll like do a supercut or something um, if I feel like it, which could be pretty cool, but it would also be a lot of effort, <laughs> probably even more effort than I would have thought, because I'd have to go through the entire episode 
um, make the same remarks that I did, but audible, so you could hear me. I, what I really should have done is I should have also took a copy of it, so I would have, like, I, I should have had my phone up recording me, so I'd have the version of me speaking like this, so that it would be, I'd just be able to overlay that over the whole thing, and it would have been a whole heck of a lot easier. But nope, I didn't do that, but lessons learned. The thing is, it was a really cool series, but like, uh, not series, it was a really cool uh, stream. Yeah, Perry the Platypus, I'm sure she's already planning our next move. <laughs> But, like, I, I kind of want to do that, possibly, for the future. We'll have to see. We'll, uh, we'll have to see what I do. Because that could be pretty fun. It just, it would feel a little bit less genuine, because it would end up being post-production. But at the same time, like, the mo when it was done in the moment, it was not as good. I'll, I'll, I'll see about figuring it out. Let me know if that's something that all of you are, would be interested in. I, have, I still have some ideas and stuff. And some other stuff that I had asked people, like the Pokemon Doodles and stuff that I was thinking of drawing. I, I offered, like, Cookie Run or Pokemon Doodles in the Pokemon one. So, we can do that at some point, when I have some time to doodly do. That was my knuckle cracking. That is my other knuckle. Don't buy whatever this is. It's a man shaking a piggy bank. Now he's patting the piggy bank. Now he's listening to it. Dude, there's no money in there. You're just patting an empty piggy bank and smiling. <laughs> I guess he, he is in this green void. There's nothing else for him to do. He's probably gone insane, and he only has the piggy bank as his friend. So he's just like, what's that piggy bank? Why, yes, thank you. My clothes do look fly. Uh, what are what are the kids saying? Drip? This 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 drip is steez, yo. Ah, Patty the Platypus. Yes, yes, I have a good feeling this time. <laughs> and by good feeling, I mean not good feeling at all. <laughs> dooby dooby doo ba doom dee dooby doo ba agent P. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Gingy Brave in a fedora. <laughs> agent G. He's a semi aquatic egg laying cookie of action. <laughs> Don't think about it too hard, because that would be weird. <laughs> He's got more than just plain skill. He's got a candy cane and a bill. <laughs> he had cookie surgery to get it removed. He's Ginger. Ginger the brave cookie. Ginger. Agent G. And he, he fights licorice cookie. <laughs> ah, Ginger Brave, so nice of you to drop in. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh no, it's one of these stupid things again. Oh, yeah, didn't Matt Pat do, do a video talking about how it's definitely false advertising and whatnot? Because it totally is. Oh, it looks like this thing just burned a cute dog. Don't you want to play this game now? Because it's about killing cre cool creatures and burning dogs? How even are you supposed to have done that anyway if they were the two bad guys? I don't know. I don't care. You know, I really don't care. Your game is, your game is not worth my time. It's a, oh, it's another Heroes Match 3. You know, Gardenscapes wasn't even, like, that bad of a game with the original ads they used to show, where it was cool. It, it, like, th that guy Austin would write down and say, hey, you've inherited a mansion and stuff. And it was, like, it looked pretty cool. I was not interested in a Match 3 game, but I was like, hey, that seems pretty neat. And they did those stupid ads. And they're, unfortunately, one of the only games to actually have those stupid mini games in the game itself as, like, a very rare occurrence of happening, and then that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's the only thing that it does. I love Cookie Run so much more. It is the game that it promises, and it's just really good, and they care about who they make. They, they, they care about the product they make, and it's really high quality. That's why you should play Cookie Run over other things. Not sponsored by Dev Sisters. Would love to be sponsored by Dev Sisters. They won't do it, but still, 
I would love that. I love this game. I mean, I know they're not a perfect company, but still, I love this game. No no company is perfect, but they, they're a pretty dang awesome place. Ooh, we're gonna make the candy. There it is, look at the little ring of skulls. Ah, giant licorice minion. Yay. We get to summon a giant minion. Also like in the Minions movie. Oh no. This is like the Minions movie. <laughs> you can summon a giant minion. Licorice skull candy. Despite its rather sinister appearance, this licorice candy is quite a treat. Surprise, surprise, it's also healthy for you. In limited doses, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. Licorice is slightly healthy for you if you eat only a little bit. I totally forgot that. Cool. Yeah, gonna make another candy. Gonna make another candy. Gonna make a thing cause it is candy. It's a candy andy. We made some more candy. And it's licorice flavor. Giant licorice minion. It's a minion that is licorice. Mm-mm-mm. <clears throat> Gotta love the licorice. Ah, Perry the Platypus, you'd better not interfere, or else. <laughs> licorice is cool, though. I love the atmosphere of the trial. Oh, we should do a run where we have the music playing. We should definitely do that. But first, we're gonna draw some licorice. Oh, wait. Should we do cat bat? Uh, yes. I will pull some more cat bat. And then I will use spirit potions on Licky. Yeah! Then we got some sleepy sheepies. Alright. That's pretty cool. Pretty swell. Good to go. Somebody had mentioned, How do you have that many spirit potions? And I just said, I save them. <laughs> ah, Perry the Platypus. I have, I have a good feeling this time. <laughs> ah, Ginger Brave. <laughs> <laughs> you will not escape my trap this time. <laughs> How unexpected of you. And by that I mean completely expected. <laughs> back in... Back in Gimostumpf in the days of my youth, I was but a small wizard. <laughs> no, but nobody would take me seriously. <laughs> then Dark Enchantress Cookie dressed me up as a little gnome. <laughs> and now I wait outside the cradle of darkness. <laughs> Waiting until she gives me an order. <laughs> Dark Enchantress goes, We bank any dish. <laughs> and he just gets scared. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I need to make that. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is great. I love this. <laughs> Let's upgrade our sleepy sheepy friendy. We see a big sheep horizon. We'll see a sleepy sheepy dozing off. This is a sleep sheep rising. You'll arise and awake in the morn. Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, we got to read Bat Cat. Yes. There's some Simpsons episode where they were like, here are the answers to the standardized tests. I had a, a caca bat a cat or something like that. I'm sure, I, I don't remember the exact words, but it's been in my mind for a long time, and bat cat just reminds me of that. It reminds me of that. Oh, it rhymed. All right, let's open up the story. Bat cat is always flapping its wings by licorice cookies' sides. Its large ears are especially useful for sonar to locate jellies. Bat cat tried to prank, tease, and make fun of the cookies for a long time. But each scheme failed. <laughs> like Doofenshmirtz. On the verge of giving up, the pet bumped into Licorice Cookie. The two instantly established a great friendship <laughs> due to their common goals. Making lives miserable. <laughs> and failing at it. 
Oh, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> All right, let's check this out. Story <laughs> with a great portion of the blackish licorice s extract for his dough and a grim looking scythe. This cookie is up to no good. Like Sonic the Hedgehog warned you about in the Sonic Says. That's no good. <laughs> From a young age, back in Gimoshtof, <laughs> Licorice Cookie dreamed of becoming a wizard, but never received the recognition he so rightfully deserved. Eventually, he turned to the forbidden arts of black magic. With time, Licorice Cookie assembled a small army of chewy licorice servants raised to do his bidding. On his dark path, he met Dark Enchantress Cookie, the might of the sorceress astonished Licorice Cookie, and it didn't take long before he swore, he swore his allegiance. Now the cookie is working flat out to earn his new mistress's favor, and it seems like Dark Enchantress is not easily pleased. <laughs> the Licorice Cookie's diary is filled with <laughs> is, is, is filled with everyday rants and complaints of. <laughs> His licorice cookie's diary, filled with everyday rants and complaints, could now fill up a library. <laughs> I love that. Licorice is awesome. Love this guy. Love this rascal. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give star fruit a couple extra potions. Yes, the stars are with you. I don't know why. It, uh, yesterday I was thinking, you know what her voice should be? Her voice should be Princess Peaches from the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Can you can can you hear that in, in your head if you've ever watched that show? That's what I feel like her voice should be. I don't know why, but it just feels right. Just I I don't know. It just it just feels like it should be that. May the pasta be with you. I'm in a giggly mood. I've had a very rough week. This has not been a very good week for me. This game makes me happy and cheers me up. <laughs> Especially when I can be stupid in it. Oh yes, yeah, story run error. Uh, magic ingredient spawn rate in story run stage 5 has been fixed. Please check the announcement for the details. We apologize. This is probably how I got more of the tickets in that other thing at some point. But yeah, here we go. We get a good bonus of stuff. Yay! Alrighty. Now let's see, what should we do? Should we do something else? No, I don't think so. We'll run a little bit more in Licorice Cookie's Trial. Now that I have the magic candy and a little buff. Here we are. <laughs> ah, Gingerbread of the Platypus. <laughs> I am part of the Evil Council Love Muffin. <laughs> the muffins are against the cookies. <laughs> Dark Enchantress is part of Love Muffin. <laughs> Just like the, the other evil organization. <laughs> oh, that would be great. <laughs> oh, I'm very excited. Oh, yes, we must reap. Reap. Uh, I don't know what we reaped, but I think we, we made the ghost disappear or something. We shall see as we go along. Yippity hop. Oh, there we go. Oh, when I reap, then it fills up the meter. Okay, so I need to I need to reap some more. Reap the benefits. Oh, galore. Reap the benefits. Do it some more. Yeah, we're getting stuff. We're finding jellies. Gonna hippity hop away. We have a pile of bones that we can eat just like little bone candies. They're all jellies, but I like to imagine that those are little bone candies because when I was younger, they, we used to get at Halloween these little, um, little different colored bone candies. They, uh, I remember they also had them over at Toys R Us. Uh, there's a little hobby and you could put in a quarter for the candy machine there, and you could get some candies. Oh, there we go. We made the little licorice minion, or the giant licorice minion, excuse me. So, yeah, that's what that's what licorice can, can summon. You can summon the incredible licorice hulk. Yay. It's so cool. Oh, I love this. 
apparently in Cookie Run Kingdom, Licorice is like a glass cannon, where he's he's very weak um, strength-wise, but in terms of power, he's really, really strong. So once your main forces go down, he'll go down very easily. But if he's alive, he attacks super strong and is one of the strongest cookies of the game. So, yay! And currently, meta-wise, due to him being the most recent cookie released, he's pretty good, honestly. I think he's stronger than some of the other ones that were released a little later, depending on how much they're, they're, they're balancing stuff power creep-wise. Um, I, don't, I don't know which cookie has the jump in, this one being especially stronger than others. And these are such cute little skeleton friends that bounce us along. They really remind me of the Sir Palo Spooky Month series. <laughs> those, those, those cool little videos. <laughs> Yay! Ooh, now rise! Oh, it's a gargantuar! From, from, uh, what do you call it? Plants vs. Zombies. That's what it reminds me of. Including the little bone thing that it's gonna smash with. Like the telephone pole of the gargantuar. I know Dev Sisters likes to put in little, um... Plants vs. Zombies references every so often. Oh, look at that! There's a little bat in the background! Oh, I love that! Oh, yay! It looks like, uh... It looks like the, the little bat was added for this. Unless this is a unique, uh, bonus time. Oh, that's so cool. Yay! But yeah, I'm gonna imagine that we're summoning a gargantuar. That's in my mind now. Yes. Yay, yay. Yes, a gargantuar. Ooh, giant potion of death and evil and melting. Whee! Yippity hoppity. Oh, yes, I was able to attend a live stream that Voltaire did with his newsletter, and it was so cool. I was noticed by Voltaire. I was very happy. That was It was really cool. I won't do the thing that I did a long time back with, like, the Brutal Moose live stream or something, because it... This one was a little bit more of a personal topic. I don't I don't really want to make a video on it. But it was still really cool nonetheless. Uh yeah, now we have more power for the magic thing. The candy. Magic candy. Yes. Magic thing. There's a lot of magic going on in this world. <laughs> ah, Perry the Platypus. Hee hee hee. When you least expect it. <laughs> He's changed from being emo <laughs> to doofenshmirtz. <laughs> no, it failed. Oh, why did it have to fail? <laughs> when you least expect it, I'm sure she's already planning our next move. That was the voice that I did before. Let me know in the comments as well. You can comment multiple times. You want me to keep doing the Doofenshmirtz voice for him or the emo voice for him? Let me let me know, because I'm happy with doing a mix-up of the two until we get a definitive answer. <laughs> or unless you want a mix of the two. I like either. Both of them are fun. <laughs> there we are. We earned a bonus thing from the Thunder Drum, and that's pretty cool. I'll keep using the Thunder Drum just until... <clears throat> oh, voice failed me again. Just until I can get that bonus. Who's a Dougal? The bonus event stuff. Yeah, the Dragon's Valley. What are we going to get? What magical prize? Okay, just the usual, but that's still pretty cool. Nice. We got stuff. Handington Squad. Yay. All right, friends, but I believe it's that time again. If you like what I do, don't be shy to give a thumbs up. Have a pleasant day, everyone. And this is Handington, signing off. Bye.